Callum just asked, would you still recommend using Loom for outreach? Yeah, I would. I think Loom. Yeah. What I what I do with Loom now, guys, um, I think I've mentioned this on YouTube as well, is I will not send a Loom cold. I'll only ever send a Loom once they've agreed to it, just because it's more efficient. So we'll use um, we'll use emails and appointment setters, et cetera. We'll get them to you know to do the initial outreach. So the emails literally like, hey, I've got some ideas for you. Is okay to send you a quick video. Only those that reply will then go in and actually look if it's worth our time. Are they on Shopify? Are they getting enough traffic? And so on and so forth. Then if we think it's worth our time, they've agreed to it, I'll send the loom video. And you know, that way you're not sending out bare looms just for the sake of it. The chances are that they will view it is much higher as well because they've agreed to it. Um, and it's just more efficient on your part as well. So um, that's how I do it. And there's even ways you can even um, look into Vidyard, which is the exact same as Loom. It's, you know, we literally just you record your screen. It's a plugin on Google Chrome. But the thing with Vidyard is you can hide the upload date and the view count. So what does that allow you to do? It allows you to create one video, record it, fairly generic. It will always have a lower conversion rate, but it is more efficient. Um, and then if anyone agrees to Vidyard, um, just put it in the chat there, people asking, uh, apologies for the accent, guys. Vidyard, so V-I-D-Y-R-A, uh, V-A-Y-A-R-D, sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so the, what that video will allow you to do is just send them a generic loom video where it looks like you've recorded it personally for them but you've just recorded it once and then you can also include that in like your email sequences etc um so that it just basically automates that loom outreach for you guys as well um, and, and when, you shoot, and when yeah. you shoot that video when you share your screen make sure you hide the calendar oh yeah because i have the same with george had where i've used it for some time and then after a while people start asking me like nice one but you recorded that video three yeah. months ago so make sure you hide the calendar so people can't figure out it's a video from, from some while ago. Yeah, I, I used mine in like, I think I recorded it in like the, in June, 2021. So I basically went through like a case study of one of the clients that we started where like they literally had no data prior to us working together. And then we just, we basically spent like hundred K and got them like an insane result um, within that period of time. But obviously you can see like today is first of June. And then, you know, obviously now people are getting onto it like, okay, great. But why is it the first of June on your video? So, uh, yeah, definitely hide the calendar or just not mention it or play around or anything like that. But, um, yeah, video is cool. Loom will always convert higher because it's more personal. You can show their website. But once you get to the point where you are sending out like two, three hundred messages or emails a day, it is, you know, worth looking into uh, something like that. Cool. I used, um, I was running a Google ads for a chiropractor for several months and we just, we just stopped working because she's like, she's gone on like a lot of holidays and she's expanding her business. And I would send her like a loom video at the end of the month outlining the results. And she loved that. Just like, yeah, I was, in Berlin, I was in Berlin, she was in Vancouver, Canada. So like adding that personalized element to the video, mm -hmm. like really, really like just brought us a lot together, a lot closer. Yeah. And like she understood exactly like what I was doing as well, right? In terms of optimization of the account and things like i mean someone who's not very sophisticated i mean it's it's really nice for you to do that personalized video just kind of going through what you do on a daily basis yeah 100 yeah we, we do that as well we send our clients loom updates rather than reports and stuff like that um yeah. it's easier for them to digest it's easy for them to understand plus it puts things into context so let's say you're doing a lot of testing the first few weeks the ROAS is going to suffer, right? Because you're doing a lot, you're testing out things that aren't working, you know, you're gathering data, et cetera. And then um, if you just send them a report of the first week saying, okay, we spent X amount, the ROAS is 1.14 or something like that. They're not going to be very impressed. But if you send them a video explaining, okay, the reason why it's 1.14 is because ad sets three, four, and five, you know, we've realized don't work. So we've gone all in on ad set two, for example. So the next week, the results will be better. But for this week, we've done a lot of tests and we've made a lot of um, you know, progress in terms of learning what works and what doesn't. And then by saying something like that, you put it into context and they'll appreciate you more for it as well. So um, if you do not want to do weekly calls, 
weekly updates or bi-weekly updates via Loom or just in video form uh, really help as well. Just keep the clients in the loop of what you're doing. Uh, it takes a bit of time on your part, but it's 100% worth it. It increases the lifetime value of the clients uh, like crazy. Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. And if you are seeing this, that means you've made it to the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. And that was basically a snippet of a one-time event where we basically went in, analyzed your ad accounts and uh, answered any questions that you had completely free of charge, no strings attached. So if you want to join something like this, there's nothing really like this on the cards anytime soon. However, we do have a coaching program where we do exactly this. So not only do we show you exactly you know, how we've been able to generate multiple six figures with our agencies, generate hundreds and hundreds of appointments per month for ourselves, as well as our coaching students, but we'll also answer all of your questions analyze your clients ad accounts and also share our screens and show you exactly how we're generating leads for our own agency how we're generating sales for our you know e-com stores our own clients and so on and so forth so if that sounds interesting to you i will leave a few resources in the first comments of this video one of them will be Erwin's own youtube channel so feel free to check that out and subscribe to his channel uh, the other one will be the link to the free agency scale and fast track facebook group and the third one will be to book a free call with one of us or so basically someone on our team no external sales guy not like that it will be someone on the team either myself either Erwin, brandon or elliot we will go over where you're currently at with your agency and then see if we can come up with a game plan to get you up to six figures and beyond as well and you know the best way of uh, of doing so so if that sounds interesting to you it will all be linked in the first comment down below but for now i'll wrap up this video here thank you so much for watching like share comment subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video Never,